All right, guys. In today's video, we are going to be testing different attachments, or we're gonna be testing different things that you can attach to just a basic drill. Some of them are a little strange. So the first one may not look like it, but we are gonna try a chainsaw. Don't really know how this is gonna work. Seems like we have almost all the pieces here. It's not like I was gonna use them anyway, but there are no instructions. So that actually kind of sucks because I don't really have anything to, uh, I don't have anything to back me up. That looks like some type of guard handle, a guard of some type. So that would go like this. I bet this goes here. This probably goes, this is the guard. This just slides here. It has a hole through it as if there's supposed to be a bolt that goes through it. I don't know. We don't really need that anyway. So this has to go here. Oh, I wonder which, which direction the chain goes on. I'm assuming it goes on like this. And this has got to go over here. I can tell that from my extensive knowledge of chainsaws. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I just don't understand what's supposed to hold this thing in place. We got one, we got one screw. I genuinely have no idea. I bet it goes in there. It has to, right? Where else could it go? Give me this. Jeez. Like that. Okay. <sighs> Why is everything so difficult? You go there. Okay. Look how loose this is. How is that supposed to do anything? I need a longer screwdriver. All right, I think I got this adjusted. I don't know where the washer goes. It's probably not important. That's pretty much it. So let's see. Hmm, how are you supposed to? I'm confused because there's a spot here, a spot here, and a spot here. So unless these are just like other handles, maybe if you want to use it like this. So one problem with the with this chainsaw is that there's no bar oil. And it also just doesn't. All right, let's see if we can cut something. I feel like this is gonna be a disaster. All right, guys, so before we go any farther, this video is sponsored by Factor. <laughs> a little warning, if your cooking skills are like mine, this is the one for you. Factory is a food delivery service that delivers fresh, never frozen meals straight to your door. And all of the Factor meals are curated by a team of culinary experts, and they only use the freshest ingredients in all the Factor meals. And all of the Factor meals are free of hormones, antibiotics, refined sugar, and GMOs. So the way that the meal plans work is that you can get from between four and 18 meals per week, depending on your specific needs. And you can easily add meals, you can take meals away, you can do whatever you need to to fit your specific needs. And if you need to, you can even skip a week. And now my favorite part, and the part that I love the most about these type of meals, is that they are easy to cook. You just take them, you just take them out of the cardboard sleeve, put them in the microwave for two minutes, and then bam. You're done. Peel the plastic off and eat it. It's simple, it's easy. I love that. And for me, in my everyday life, that is about as good as it gets. Just as anything that I can just walk to the fridge, pull it out, put it in the microwave, it's done. That's, that's absolutely perfect for me, and I'm sure it's perfect for a lot of you. And it doesn't even stop there. You can also amp up your order with things like, with add-ons like proteins, juices, energy bites, desserts, smoothies. They have a nice, I think strawberry banana and some tropical fruit. These things are delicious. So if you're interested, you can go to factor75.com and use code TylerTube50 at checkout and you will get 50% off your first Factor box. And all the links will be in the description. So I decided we're just gonna test two things at the same time. They kind of do the same thing. This one cuts wood, this one cuts wood. I mean, I guess this could technically cut just about anything. Oh, this thing came with a blade. I didn't realize that. Actually requires almost no assembly, except for a handle. But this one 
is a Sawzall attachment. And I guess it comes with a wood blade. Okay. Excuse me? Excuse me? Where did that even go? That is not a very good start. We shouldn't just be torpedoing our blades out. Maybe you really gotta... Maybe that's in there? Okay, maybe I just didn't have it clicked in the first time. Now let's test both these tools. See if we can cut through some wood. Alright, so I think a 4x4 could be, we could be biting off a little more than we can chew, but what else is new? I expect this to be nothing, nothing short of a complete disaster. Let's get this over with. I think the chain's on upside down. There's no way. Yeah, put the chain on the wrong way. And you can see after it hit one time, it's like broke free or something. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Buy my merch. There's a link in the description. There's t-shirts, hoodies, and hats. And they're very nice. All right, so that took long enough. That was like 30 minutes of my life. So what, what happened was, one, the chain was on backwards. And two, the, ch the chain jumped off because, I don't know if you can see it, but I had to put a washer right here on the adjuster screw. And before anybody says anything, no, it was not the washer that was in the box. The one that was in the box was too big to fit between the screw head and the chain bar. So I had to harvest this off of something else. Now we can see if we can cut something. Okay. So, wow, that chain is incredibly loose. After one cut, it's almost about to fall off, honestly. Let's tighten the chain up. Now, one thing that you're gonna run into if you were to use this thing is there is no place for bar oil. So there's nothing lubricating this chain. So that kind of leads me to believe that this is just made for like, you know, really small stuff. Like twig, not twigs, but like little tiny branches or something. Why would you need all this just to cut a little like something small. Just use like a, an axe or a hatchet or a machete or something. Let's go again. Something I didn't even think about. This thing is constantly trying to like pull your hands forward. So like if you're sitting here cutting, it's gonna like constantly like jam your hand into the wood, which I'm sure is what that guard would help with, but I don't know where that guard goes. I smell this thing getting really hot. Man, it's loosening, loosened up really bad. So far, it seems like this thing just, <laughs> I don't know. There's just something, something off about this thing. really beats up your knuckles. Oh, the drill powered chainsaw. I think it's even like breaking down on the inside. It looks like the bearing on the inside is like loose, like it's about to fall off or something. The drill, the little tiny drill chainsaw, does it work? Yeah. Would I ever buy it to use? No. Would I ever rec recommend it to anybody? Absolutely not. Uh, but it does 
technically work, I guess. Now let's try this. I feel like this, I feel like we're gonna have way better luck with this. Oh yeah. As long as the blade doesn't fall out, I feel like we'll be fine. No way. What? It broke already. Back and forth thingy majig isn't going back and forth. Oh. These things are not doing so good. So, <clears throat> I guess let's uh, dig into this thing and see what failed. Because that was, that was quick. That was pretty pathetic, if you ask me. All right, time to crack this bad boy open. The moment of truth. What failed? Ooh. Wait a minute. That is one of the cheapest things I've ever seen. So. <laughs> this thing is literally just run by plastic bits. It looks to me like I had a like it's just a plastic piece that was spiraled so that as it would spin the spiral would ride in here and push this back and forth and it's just made of plastic and just shatters i guess there's our answer that is that is pathetic why would you put plastic into some into something like this that can't withstand anything what are you going to cut like if you're going to have plastic what are you going to cut like wet cardboard or something? The next item. That doesn't look good. It's supposed to be like a miniature like circular saw. I understand what those two those two things are. This this looks like way more <laughs> way more assembly than and there's no instructions in the box. No instructions. Even if I wanted to use them, I can't use them. So now I literally just have to guess. This thing, it has the measurements on it. No idea what this could possibly be. A handle. That's fair. This is obviously some type of guard that I assume has to go over here. Okay, let me... <laughs> let me figure this thing out, and then we'll test it. I pretty much have the whole thing together. I just have a couple questions. I don't know where these two... Uh, bolts go or these two washers. I don't know if this is a tool or if this is part of the thing that's missing from somewhere No idea looks like a tool to me, but I don't know what it could go to everything's an allen head except for there's one uh, Nut other than that. I have no idea No idea what this thing is the only place I can assume where it fits is here So I assume maybe it's like some type of uh, like guard to like keep it a certain distance away from something or whatever. And if that's the case, I don't need that because I'm not doing. I'm just testing it. But other than that, I think I got it. Although there is one thing that severely worries me. Severely. So let me get in close and show you what I am severely worried about. So here's our blade, right? Watch what happens whenever we run the blade. That wobble is not good. I'm not an expert now. That's going to cause a lot of problems. So I think maybe for those other things, maybe we had our expectations too high. So we're gonna lower our expectations. I'm gonna take them from here. We're gonna lower our expectations all the way down to here. And we're gonna start with just some uh, pegboard. It's nice and thin, it's flexible. Shouldn't be that hard to cut. Make sure we're going in the right direction. Let's see. Oh. It came unchucked. And I tightened that down very tight. I'm a little bit confused. Because this thing says that it's supposed to rotate this way. But it's not supposed to rotate that way. So it's supposed to rotate this way. I think I need to think about this. Okay, I flipped it around. Uh, now it's 
left-handed, I guess. I'm not sure what's going on here. Let's see if we can cut this. So, oh, looks like we have uh, made it about 60% uh, of the way through, and then this thing has, like, busted itself open and tried to, basically it tried to self-destruct. Another quality product. I have a feeling that this is going to be a reoccurring theme with these products, that they are going to self-destruct. Again, it was pathetic. I'm curious to see if there's any actual, like, physical damage, or if the case itself... So you can see the case kind of is splitting apart, so I don't know if the case itself is just splitting apart or if there's actual like physical damage on the inside. Okay. <laughs> so if I had to guess, with as loose as this is and how much play this has, I'm going to assume Especially that. That is kind of crazy. I'm going to assume there was just too much force for the plastic case. If this was made out of metal, eh, probably could have stood a chance. But not being made out of plastic. So, once again, we got garbage. Next, we have electric drill refitting plate shears. Which, from what I understand, these, oh, instructions, nice. These should just be, uh, like, to trim, to cut metal, like sheet metal. So, we got that, that, a couple wrenches, and that's it. Looks like this goes in here, maybe with the jam nut. Okay, and this is gonna go around the handle to hold it in place. I guess you just feed your sheet metal in there. I wonder if it'll... Well, all right, let's get some metal. This should be pretty, pretty easy. So here's the piece of metal that we tried to use that, <laughs> that hole cutter with that one time. That didn't work out well. I'm gonna go on the higher torque setting. Really? Oh, there we go. That worked. And that worked good. Oh. Let's just, let's just do this again. It's a little, it's like a little bit finicky. That is, that's, this is a million times better than what everything else has been doing. Maybe the trick is you gotta go kind of slow. I'm gonna give that an A plus. Compared to everything else, this actually did what it said it does. It does it pretty good. It's not the best. This sheet metal could, might be just a little bit, uh, just a little bit too thick for this, but it does do it. That's a win. Compared to everything else we've dealt with today, that is an absolute win. I'm gonna stop right there before it breaks, actually. Next product is a like machine gun screw belt fed thing. It says automatic lithium electric drill chain screw gun converter. I don't know where the lithium's at. Unless we're talking about that lithium. So we have a whole chain of screws. Let's 
I got a rubber band for something. Where's the rubber band go? We have this. Okay, so this is obviously for putting in screws very quickly. Okay. I guess the rubber band is for nothing. So just screw this on, I assume. All right, well, let's see. Didn't work at all. Ain't no way. It's only putting them in that far. Won't even let me put them in that far. Adjust the thing or what? Wait a minute. That's as far as it can go. I'm so confused. There's no way. There's no way that this is supposed to be the only depth that it's supposed to go. Okay, whatever this is, I moved that all the way up, or all the way back. Maybe that will get us where we need to go. No. That's even less. What kind of garbage is this? That's what we want, right there. What doesn't make sense is this thing has a picture that says depth, right? And it's set on what should be the deepest depth. So theoretically, from where it was to where I put it, it should be going not as deep now. Maybe if the gauge isn't backwards or something. No, it's not. So what is this thing for? Like, is it just to drill in these screws like an eighth of an inch and that's it? That's all they're good for? What's the purpose of this? Is this to hang pictures really fast? Cause that just, that doesn't make any sense. Why, why would you need like a machine gun type of device to do that? Let's see how fast we can, fast we can put some screws in. Cause I think you're supposed to be able to just like keep your drill going and you're supposed to just be like bang, 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 bang. Yeah, you can put a lot of screws in really fast, but why do you need, who, like, who needs to put in a bunch of screws that are like, this is still stuck this far out of the wood? What are you, what are you doing with that? You hanging pictures, you hanging jackets, are you, does this thing work? I guess, apparently it's doing what it's supposed to do. I would think that it was, that these screws are supposed to go all the way down, but you know what? What do I know? I just make YouTube videos, so. Maybe this is how it's supposed to be used. So I guess, I guess it works as designed. So I think we've learned a very, very valuable lesson today. And that is, if you want a tool to do something, just buy that tool. Don't try to buy an attachment for another tool to get the same effect. Like if you want a Sawzall, don't buy a Sawzall that attaches to your drill. Just buy the Sawzall. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.